Ah, Marston, sir. It's good to see you, old bean. Good to see you. And you too, Professor. Forgive me. I am in a state of remarkable agitation, partly due to standard narcotic impulses, but also due to the fact that I have finally solved the riddle that has tormented my mind these past eight years. What's that? The nature of the savage soul! What makes some societies great, like ours, and others, uh, yeah, not worse. I would never use a pejorative such as worse, but, 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 but lesser! Meaning? Meaning. What makes these beings less human than us? Closer to beast on the continuum between animal and god! You know, I argued with Fortescue at Yale about this. It caused a minor scandal. But I shall be proven right, sir! I shall! Mark my words! I shall show them all what civilization is all about. The redskins and the nubs at Yale. Come, sir! I have a way to save both our desires. I will bring you, Vanderlint and me, the evidence of savages reverting to type! Come, sir! Where the devil is the start? He should be here with the horses. Where is he? Where is he? All quiet here, I hope. My heart's beating like a drum. Try to calm down, Professor. Calm down? I I've never been so excited in all my life. Hello, Professor. <gasps> Mr. Marston. Come on. This is it! Years of research! Whoa. Don't hang back there like a wet blanket! I'm actually a little nervous, I have to say! A touch of the old jitters! No, kid! That's no small relief to have the two of you along with me. Especially you, Nastas. You really have made remarkable progress in the short time I've known you. I'm glad you have found it useful. I've always been a little afraid of savages, if I'm honest. But your mastery of basic English and openness to rational discussion is nothing short of reassuring. You see, all those years of research were worth it. Isn't it fascinating? I've actually noticed that your skull is very Caucasian in form. I must have a prod around it at some time. I'd rather you didn't. So many questions. Have humans evolved into competing subspecies? Why is the white man civilized more quickly? Why does Nastasia dance for rain and sacrifice deer to a myriad of false idols? You're starting to offend me, old man. No deer sacrifices, then. I must make a note of it. Why don't you try breathing? It's a bear! For the love of God, kill it! You angered her. Now we have no choice. Whoa there! My God, that was terrifying! I say we leave before any of his yeah. friends turn up! We can't stop now! Last still. <laughs> Let's go! Smoke a pipe. I wouldn't do that if I were you, mister. Hello, gentlemen. We come in peace. Those words mean nothing coming from people like you. Look at what you've done to us. Look at us! We live like animals. Scrabbling in the dirt. Well, I... Well, but I... Well, violence isn't the answer. Maybe you live in a different America than we. Men like Vanderlint will lead you to disaster. I think we've already experienced disaster. The likes which you could only imagine. Put your hands up. We come in peace. But the 
How is he says, Marston? You call this a meeting? Give me your damn weapon. This is not what we agreed to. You shut your mouth, you treacherous snake! Oh, oh shit! Damn it! Oh, Dutch! Professor, get down now! Quiet! They killed the stars! Marston! You have to get us out of here! Oh, father! Just keep your head down! How'd I get myself in this? Never in all my days! Whatever you do, please don't leave me in here! Now, while we got the chance. Sound. Thank the Lord. So much for a meeting of mine. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I could be boiling in a pot right now if it wasn't for you. Get some rest, Professor. 